Hello, Father Joe. How are you today? Yeah, good. Uh, happy. It's uh, springtime and it's the beginning of Holy Week. Uh, it sure is. It sure is. Well, my name is Bob Warner. I am uh, honored to be the vice president of the board of Casa Esther's Catholic Worker House in Omro, Wisconsin. And Father Joe Matern, the founder of Casa Esther and president, uh, with us for our weekly chats. And last week, we talked about the three pillars of the Catholic worker movement, one of which is uh, roundtable discussions. So can you kind of give us an ex a little bit more about roundtable discussions, breadth of them, and maybe a recent example? Yeah, and just to remind you, uh, Peter Morin is the one who really uh, mm -hmm. had the idea of the three pillars and uh, hospitality, roundtable discussions, and farming communes. And we uh, at Casa, Casa Esther here really are uh, faithful to that tradition and the spirit that it was set up for us by Dorothy Day and Peter Moore. So we take seriously and let that guide us. So uh, round table discussions, he called them, for the clarification of issues. So we are very, uh, very uh, strategic about setting up those round table discussions. And uh, we have meetings kind of on a regular basis. I'm going to give you one example of a session we just had. It was a, our Pax Christi group, which meets monthly here at our Catholic Worker House. And their motive is to work for nonviolence and anti-war, anti-nuclearism, and, and other, other things, peacemaking. Uh, although at the last meeting, we uh, decided we were going to try to help our bishop here, uh, you know, Dorothy Day was Catholic, and uh, and she was more into the uh, spirit of Catholicism, but not so much into the structure and the uh, institution. Uh, and so, but her spirit is one of nonviolence and the gospel. So anyway, uh, we uh, the subject was the upcoming synod. Our Pope uh, has called for a three-year preparation and a synod, and its intention was to make the church more inclusive, to make it more up-to-date, and uh, uh, to say, to deal with the world problems and situation. And so in what he did in that synod, uh, we talked about, it, says, let's write the bishop and give him some ideas of what we think he should be uh, dealing with when he prepares for his our synod statement from the Green Bay Diocese. So we focused on the words uh, of um, communion, participation, and mission, which is to, to characterize the synod. And particularly, we focused on participation. The word synod, by the way, when taken apart, uh, means on the road together. So we feel that's fundamental that we uh, invite participation by all in this synod preparation process. So uh, that means inclusivity. So we're writing to the bishop and saying, uh, we have to pay attention to those who in the past, in many ways have been overlooked. And then we give an example, the poor, women, people of color, the indigenous and LGBT folks. So that's a little provocative. But we're going to tell the bishop that we have to keep in mind and listen to them. They have to be participants. Uh, and uh, as we shape an, a new church, a church that is in, in touch with the gospel of Jesus, who said, love everyone, including your enemy. So that was the subject of our roundtable. And, and um, those roundtable, thanks to Peter Morin, really direct us at... Uh, at uh, solving uh, issues, uh, as, as he said, for the resolution of, of, of different issues. And so we're happy to do that. And we're grateful to Peter Morin for giving us uh, the head start and a direction. Wonderful. You know, that <clears throat> it's fantastic that there's a local Pax Christi group right there in the uh, Amra and Oshkosh area, and they can meet there at the Catholic Worker House in Amra with you on a weekly basis. That's really fantastic. And um, yes, 
Uh, many of us would name all of the people in all those marginalized groups that you just said uh, as children of God. And so uh, indeed we are to care for our, our neighbor, we care for our brother and sister. So fantastic, great example. And I know you're doing these things weekly. Yeah, yes, we are. All in the spirit of Dorothy Day and Peter Morin. They have set the tone, the standard for us, and we try to follow. They inspire us. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for your time today, Father Joe. We look forward to chatting again next week. Okay, thank you. Blessings.